by the guard, you could have it in a couple of ways. You could have closed guard, um, or you can have open guard. I'm doing it from open so you guys can see. It's not necessarily the safest. It would be better to have it in closed guard, and I'll show a later variation. But for, so now everybody can see, I'll open it up. So what you you have here is a situation where you're in some sort of open guard here on the butterfly. You're gonna snap that head down, and you're gonna sink that arm through. So boom, just the way we we did when we were doing this technique standing up. So snap it down, sink it through. So here, here. This is very awkward at first. This is a very unusual position. You don't do this often. But you can see that as I snap it down, my chest is coming up after I get my arm in there and jamming his head so that he no longer can pull out of there. And I keep that closeness. I don't want to back away at any given time to try to close here because otherwise his head's going to go out. So you're in there. Okay, at this point, hand on the biceps, hand on the back of the head. Uh, it doesn't matter what he does now. Even if he went on and, you know, just got to the side here and thought he had side control, if I squeeze, it gets even worse for him because now his neck's also twisted. So, once again, it's, it's just a matter of getting that movement down. My hand is coming in here like a guillotine, but he fears this lasts in a way because he's way more upright. So it's not like I'm trying to punch the head to this, you know, traditional guillotine gap. I'm just right here and there, you know. So it's just a little movement there. And then I cover and I go here. Okay, once I got that, you know, if he passes, bad for him. If I don't want to pass, I just squeeze a little here. It's a tap. How can I do that from closed guard? It's going to require a little bit more core strength on my part because I'm going to have to sit up without using my legs to get that uh, around his neck. So what I'll start here is with this hand inserted uh, under the chin, okay? And then as you do that, you sit up, hop, and shoot it through. Go over the top and close. This one will be even tighter, if that's even possible. But so he, you break his posture down a little bit here, boom, so you can hold on to the hand. This hand here is shooting through this gap. Okay, and it's gonna shoot all the way across to here. So I'm here, all the way across. Now you keep that head down here. Now, with my hand, you're gonna use your back, back of your arm, boom, right there, to pull down and close, right? Careful, if you do that too fast, it's gonna be lights out. 